What is going on with used car prices? Have they gone back to normal or are they still completely out of hand? Today we're looking at actual car sales from collector markets to see how outrageous the car market actually is. $20,000. What? I'm disgusted. <laughs> So I'm going mano y mano y mano with these jerks, and it uh, should be a good time. Welcome to Donut. What we're gonna be talking about here today is the upper echelon, the bougiest of the bougie. Closest to pin wins, we're not doing any of that Price is Right scoring, and there's a punishment this time. The punishment is that you're gonna have to wear every single piece of clothing that Donut makes. Well, that doesn't sound like too much of a punishment. Our stuff is very high quality and reasonably priced. A guy died on an airplane because they didn't want to check his bag, so he packed everything on. And he overheated he and boiled died. an egg. So our first car on the list today is from the Amelia Island auctions. Millions of dollars are spent on rare Ferraris, Bergattis. The mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bergatti. One of the cars that sold this year is not like the others. It's actually a 1997 Integra Type R. Ooh. Mm. 6200 looks to be pretty pristine. Good condition. Has molybden molybdenum oh, yeah? coated cylinders to re mm. decrease friction, help that VTEC make a more power. Oh, baby. All right, who's going first? Nolan. Say $115,000. I'm going to go $147,500. Scorcher. $224,000. Holy oh, The true price of the 1997 Integra Type R, $151,200. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Starting out with a win. That's got to be like the highest price it Integra's is. ever gone for, it huh? Set, set a record for the most expensive Integra ever sold. Wow, that's crazy. Big thank you to Nissan for sponsoring this video. A lot of EVs out there focus on just performance or luxury, but the Nissan Aria is dedicated to giving you both. Whoa! It's got a table? I was gonna show him that, but uh, you can you can do that, Jerry, oh, I guess. I'm sorry, was I not allowed to test that? <sighs> no, it's fine. But uh, let me do those in the future, okay? okay. The all new Aria comes equipped with Hello Nissan, a personal assistant that lets the driver communicate with their car in a brand new way. You can talk to the car? Yep. Hello Nissan, navigate me to the nearest gas station. It doesn't need a gas station, Jer, because it's an electric vehicle. Hello Nissan. Please say your select a command. Call mom. Call no, your mom. Don't do that. No, no, no. It's Hi, honey. Hi, mom. Hi, Mrs. Nolan. We're just in the new Nissan Aria. She doesn't know what that is. Oh, how nice. You know, they say 100% electric is the way to go. Yeah, see, she does know, Nolan. Yeah, it's got two 12.3 inch screens and a flat floor up front. A lot of legroom up here. Hey, Nolan, can I test that out? How would you even test legroom, Jar? Just stretch it out a little. Oh, look at that. Look at all this. Stop it. Jerry, mom, I'll call you back. Dude, can you cut it out? Yeah, I guess so. I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna get us back to the office and we'll get back to the video real quick. Well, Nissan did say this thing can go zero to 60 in under five seconds. I know. Should we test that? To learn more about the Nissan Aria, click the link below or go to a Nissan dealership near you. For our next car, we're gonna be talking about a Shelby, <clears throat> mm. but it's not a Ford. No. We're talking about a 1983 Shelby Charger. Oh, it's got a nice blue, almost Ford blue yeah, yeah, color you're right. to it. Not really oh. great looking. No, they're ugly as hell. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, uh, Carroll Shelby, very well known for his work with Ford. Uh, but then for a little while, it took a little Ford hiatus, started working for the Chrysler Corporation, mm. where Switch he- Switch sides. Sleeping with the enemy. sides, mm. yeah. Where he worked on the Omni GLH that goes mm -hmm. like hell, a little mm -hmm. fast hatchback. And also this guy right here, the Shelby Charger. Like you said, guys, they're, it's pretty ugly, <laughs> but uh, it is a Shelby. This was Shelby's personal vehicle. Ooh. He put 47,000 miles on it. Wow, he enjoyed that car. I think it's gonna be similar to the last one. I'm gonna say 147,500, same guess. I'm gonna say $40,000. I'm gonna split the middle, okay? I'm gonna go right dead smack, we're right in the middle of that sucker, $85,000. True price of the 1983 Shelby Charger, $27,500. <laughs> Honestly, that gives me a little bit of faith in humanity. Right. Our next car on the list is a 1996 Ford Bronco Eddie Bauer edition. Mm -mm -mm. And then the Eddie Bauer edition is basically top of the line plus some extra things. You know who Eddie Bauer is? No. I mean, I've been to his store. 
Yeah, he just sells clothes, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess eighty thousand dollars. I'm gonna say one hundred five thousand dollars. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna say one twenty-seven five hundred. The true price of the nineteen ninety-six Eddie Bauer edition Bronco is eighty-four thousand seven hundred. No one takes it. I guess it wasn't six figures. Dang, I thought for sure this would be a six figure truck. If these auction prices are making your eyes water, don't be afraid. <laughs> don't pout, yeah. don't fret. The cheapest time to buy a used car, at least in the US, is yeah. after the summertime, yeah. not during tax season. Car dealers know that you've got a tax return in your pocket and they know that you want to use that to, as a down payment or something. Don't do it. They're gonna screw you. That's true. Wait until after summer yeah. when people are putting their toys away yeah. and saving up money for the holidays, you can score a good deal on a used car. Speaking of a car that you used to be able to find for <coughs> relatively cheap, the next car on our list, a Whoa. 2004 Subaru Impreza STI. We know about these cars, don't we? Yeah, we love these. 2004 was the first time that you could get an STI in the States. It's got only 7,000 miles on the clock. Wow, it's almost gonna get a new engine. Well, no one, uh, I think you're up whenever yes. you're ready. Okay. We come. Uh, <laughs> kind of like boomers. I'm gonna say $60,000. Okay, okay, Pretty yeah. Guess, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna go slightly lower. I'm gonna say 40000 Maybe I'm giving too much weight on a first year SCI for the States, but it is an American auction. Us Americans, pretty dumb. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 85,000. Well, you're in luck, Jer. The true price of the Impreza is $77,000. On the board. The next car on the list is very rare. It's a 1987 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC Ooh. AMG. Dope. This actually precedes the merger between yeah. Mercedes and AMG. No kidding. Yeah, this is one of the last pre-mergers, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Um, I like when they dump these guys mm -hmm. and put like a wide body on it. This came with a 5.5 liter V8. They boarded it out to six liters. They put performance cams on it, sand cast cylinder heads, stiffer suspension, big old brakes, makes 147 horsepower more than stock. When the dude bought it in 2015, it had 40 miles on it. Wow. And since then, uh, had fun with it, and now it has 15,000 miles on it. Dang, that's wow. sick. Wow. So anyway, Jer, you're okay. up. I think this car mm. went for $565,000. I have no idea, I'm I, shooting in the dark. Same, dude, I feel, yeah. I have no idea what these go for, and that's why I don't feel weird saying $150,000. Yeah. I'm gonna say 225. The estimated range that it was going to sell at was $225,000 to $275,000. It actually sold for seven hundred twenty thousand dollars. What? So Holy how the turntables? How oh, the yeah. turns at oh, table in last place, just like that. All right, moving on. Uh, this is actually one that you could win, Job. This yeah, maybe. Is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about a nineteen ninety seven BMW M three Evolution in Dakar yellow. That's Dakar right there, baby. All right, so what generation is this? E what? 36. The Evolution des designation means they bored out the three liter inline six to 3.2 liters, and the ZF five speed manual transmission was swapped with a six speed Getrag. Ooh. This could be really high, or it could be one of those where it's just like, okay. Uh, yeah. But no, I think it's going to be $175,000. You're kidding. No. That's, what, that's what I was going to say. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say $147,500. Oh heck, you guys got me all boxed in. 200000 Okay, all right. The true price of the M3 Evolution is $297,757. Back in action. Whoa. We need to go to these people's houses. Interesting bit, Rob. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Jerry, yeah. what's your favorite character from Cars? My favorite character from Car. Oh, it's Tomater. We don't have Tomater on the auction block, but we do have Sally Carrera. Oh, okay. hey. Sally Carrera. Oh, this is the one that they actually made that yeah. looked like her. I think there might be a pinstripe under the on, on the back. At auction, all the proceeds went to a couple of different charities, one for girls' education mm. and one for Ukrainian refugees. Okay. So. Well, depending on the benevolence of these rich guys, it could have gone for a buttload, huh? This is probably gonna be one of those ones that went for like way too much money. It doesn't even make any sense. I'm gonna say one point one million dollars. Whoa! I'm gonna say 750. I'm gonna go back to that. Okay, I'm saying 
$550,000. True price of Sally Carrera, $3.6 million. What? Hey, it's for oh charity. God. Yeah, I know. Are I you know. kidding me? And oh. how quickly the tables turn back around. <laughs> you guys ready for another Porsche? Yeah. yeah. Big time. All right, do you guys know anything about the 924 GTR? I don't, I've never seen this car. They only made 17 of them. This is an actual race car that never raced. Oh. It's got a turbocharged four cylinder that makes 375 horsepower. Sick. Uh, it's got titanium springs. It's got Bilstein mm. coilovers on all four corners. And it weighs just a hair over 2,000 pounds. No way. Hot dog. Thing rips. This is a hot little pepper. Absolutely. I'm going to say uh, 1.25 million. Wow. Oh. Jerry? $255,000. I'm going to say $400,000. Okay. That's yeah. The true price of the 924 Carrera GTR is $406,000. Whoa. Rolling oh, back man. on it. Go for it. Yeah, that's a tap in. Before you get ahead of yourself, let's just do a quick points recap. Right now we have four cars left, and Nolan and Zach are tied at three. Jerry, you have two. You got some ground to make up. I got a question for y'all. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> F40 versus F50. What's your take? I mean, the F50s have grown on me over the years, but F40 all the way. That's like my favorite car. Yeah, of all time. F40 has aged so much better than the F50 in pretty much every way. Okay. Uh, but F50 is kind of like baggy pants, though. It's coming yes. back around. Yes, yes. Are you done with your whole F40 propaganda? Or are you an F50 guy? Because it's a superior vehicle. Because it looks more like a catfish, huh? It does. So this one just sold at Amelia Island. Uh, it's got 800 miles on it. It's Ooh, been meticulously gosh, maintained since it was bought in 1995. I'm going to say $2 million. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the ballpark I'm, I'm uh, feeling like. I'm going to say $2.4 million. I think you guys are way low. I think this car is like 10 million bucks. The true price of the F50, $5,065,000. Well, I know my catfishes. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, we got a bro dozer? This is a 2017 Ford F250 Super Duty pickup. It has air suspension, the gigantic Mickey Thompson Baja tires, and a 6.7 liter diesel. It's a big honker. So I'm going to say that someone paid one hundred thousand dollars even. Damn, that's what I was gonna guess. This might be a uh, pretty biased towards Jer, actually. This is a me special. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say seventy-five grand. Okay, that's I'm gonna say one twenty-two. The Ford F two fifty cost one hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars at auction. <laughs> Your garage isn't even big enough for this. Uh, oh, and no. actually, this one is suited this is... for Jer as well. Uh, oh, an IROC Z. It's a 1990 yeah. Chevy Camaro IROC Z. This is the last year that they made them. If you don't know what IROC stands for, it's the International Race of Champions. It's basically the all star game for. NASCAR. They give you the same car. I mean, it's like car. not just NASCAR, but like everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But they all give you the same car. Yeah, yeah. And so you get the race. same setup. Yeah. And then it's just driver skill. It's got better suspension, lowered ride height, tuned port injection from the Corvette. Yeah. LT hot dog. I'm going to say 67,000 bucks. I'm going to say like 35 grand. Yeah, that's a good guess, Nolan. That's a real. Real good, yes. <laughs> really, I think this is probably Jerry. the cheapest car on the list, and Jimmy's doing that on purpose. Yeah, it's, Jerry's probably like it's not bucks. that. I'm gonna say it's twenty eight thousand well, dollars. That's a great guess, Jerry. That's, that's a great, great guess. guess. Oh. The true price of the 1990 IROC Z, one hundred two three hundred. I'm disgusted. <laughs> so we spent a hundred grand on this thing. That is wild. But I'm happy about it. You could <laughs> give $100,000 to like many charities. You could choose one in your local town and change a fair amount of people that you probably know's lives, but you chose to spend it on a IROC Z convertible. I've got a trick up my sleeve, okay? Ah, hell. Job one, it's not about who wins, it's about who loses in this game. So I'm gonna give Job the power to whisper his thoughts into whoever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna to give help. one of you my real advice and one of you <laughs> I'm gonna lie to. The last car on the list is a 1976 AMC Pacer. Not just any Pacer though, this is the one from Wayne's World. This is the exact one bought by Rick Harrison of Pawn Stars and restored mm. and it sold in 2016 for $37,000. It just recently sold again <laughs> last year. Mike Myers' career 
There's new Austin Powers on the way. That's Is there really? What? I've heard about it, yeah. Yeah, baby. I think that in him telling us what it sold for last time, don't listen. Uh, you know, maybe that's a little throw off. I can't imagine it's gone for more. What if someone's like, hey, a new Wayne's World movie's coming out. Mm. They might use this, mm. and then I have. I've got the leverage. I got the leverage. I can rent this car out, make some money. I'm still gonna say $20,000. You're going under? $20,000. Oh, no one. Better go get the shirts, Nolan. Should I double or triple it just for fun? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say $70,000. Oh. Okay, $20,000. $70,000. All right, Joe, lay it on us. The true price of the AMC Pacer, $71,500. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. No I'm one takes a that. big dump. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thank you, thank you. Have you ever yeah. won before? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, this has been fun. All right, thank you so much for watching Donut Media. If you'd like to get any of the t-shirts or hoodies you saw on my body, go to donutmedia.com and you can get yourself one. Probably not one of these, it's gonna be a different one. All right, subscribe to the channel, Donut Media. See you later. <laughs>